All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Alainka. I'm the statewide SHIP volunteer coordinator, and I'd like to introduce you all to our new Absorb training system. Absorb is intended to help maximize in-person training and allow users to complete their initial or update training on their own schedule. Today, I'm going to show you how to access the Absorb and have how to have your training tracked through Absorb, as well as show you some other cool features that the website has to offer. So first things first, you'll get an email from the Tennessee Person-Centered Music Program. Whenever you get this email, do not be alarmed. We at us, all of, our, all of our programs up here at TCAD share one training system. And for the time being, we're all under Tennessee Person-Centered Music. But once we get a little bit into the portal, you'll be able to see that it's all kind of on the same website. So from the email you receive from Tennessee Person-Centered Music, it gives you a link to click onto to log into the portal. To log in, the, um, your username is going to be your email unless you and your coordinator have specified a different username. And your temporary password will be TNSHIP. And that's all mentioned in that email. Once you get logged in, it'll bring you to the screen. It's gonna ask you to reset your password. You're able to reset your password if you would like from there. However, it is not required. You could keep that same TNSHIP password. Either way, just enter it in again and then click login. So I created a dummy email for us to demonstrate how to use a program today. <clears throat> so once you get logged into the portal, it'll take you to the Tennessee SHIP and s &P main page. From there, you can see um, how to access your courses. For this example, I put on here the level three initial training as well as the um, Tennessee SHIP volunteer. If you are new to Tennessee SHIP as a whole, first, welcome. But you um, will be enrolled by your coordinator into your initial training. Once you get into that, you click, you just click on the course. You'll have three weeks from the day you've been enrolled to, in order to complete the course. So I was enrolled today. I will be required to complete this by Monday, August 16th. Your time frame might be a little bit shorter, but make sure to check with your coordinator. Otherwise, you have the three weeks to complete the training. From there, you'll be able to see the course content. Here is the 10 courses you'll be required to complete before you're able to take the certification exam. So in order to take the course, you could click on here. It'll just pop up another menu and It'll show you Medicare Parts A and B and also the learning check. However, you're going to have to enroll in the course individually before you're able to access those. From there, he'll just click start. It'll pop up the video for you to watch. It'll let you, whenever you're done with the video, it'll give you the sign saying, oh, this course has been completed. You exit out of there and it should let you um, do the learning check as well. Just a couple questions um, about the video that you've just watched. Those are not per, per points. It's just a point free quiz just to make sure you're on the right track with your learning. So that's how you access that. And then let's go back to the main portal. You click up here to take you back to the main page. If you're a volunteer with SHIP and this isn't your initial training, you can go to this Tennessee SHIP and S&P volunteer course. It'll give you all of our monthly webinars that we've had this year, as well as our um, training videos from our spring training back in April. You'll also have access to all of our training resources, such as our um, 2021 Medicare and U handbooks, both the generic handbook and the Tennessee specific plans. I'll have the cost tip sheet, the volunteer manual, the VRPM, or VPRM, I should say, as well as the PDP worksheets and the 10 care and um, social security applications. Whenever you complete a course on, um, on Absorb, you'll receive an email letting you know that you've received the course, um, you've completed the co course successfully, as well as an email will be sent to your volunteer coordinator let them know as well and they can keep that documentation in your volunteer file. Other than that, whenever you've um, completed the course, I would check in with your volunteer coordinator, see whether or not you have some in-person um, training scheduled from there. And yes, if you have any questions about Absorb or if you um, 
um, have any um, concerns or if you're not able to access things easily, please let me know. You have my email and my email will also be included whenever you're added to a course or even enrolled in the service system as, um, as a whole, as well as ask your volunteer coordinator. They should be able to help as well.